if you recall, in relation to the timing of debates in this House, the national minimum wage, when we sat up all night, when those opposite were determined to oppose that and fight it every inch of the way, that's the idea that we should be equally willing to fight this piece of legislation and should stay up all night tomorrow evening if necessary. Well, I, I say to my honourable friend, I mean, the, the determination that is evident on these benches to do everything that we can to ensure, in the end, that we get a proper amount of time to debate this and then the chance to vote these proposals down uh, is a very, very powerful point of view. I give way to the honourable... Is, is one of the reasons, Madam Deputy, could, 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 could help us with this point, is the reason that we can only have five-hour debate tomorrow because, it, because the... Because the honourable gentleman uh, responsible for this for this area finds it very difficult to stay awake, and I can see him sleeping on the front bench. Oh, point of order. This is absolutely not a point of order. Yes. Yeah, right, honourable gentleman, for giving way. As you know, this uh, debate also has impact on the devolved regions of Northern Ireland, quite considerable impact, and I'm sure he is aware that one third, that's one in every three students from Northern Ireland, actually attends a university here in, the, in uh, England, and that uh, those students